Coach, um, got the first win under your belt, so to speak. Um, how much now does this, is there a different mood now after the struggle with the first two weeks? You know what, Thomas? I don't know if I can tell a lot of difference between this morning's practice and the practices from the previous two weeks, but, you know, I feel a, little, <laughs> I feel a lot better. You know, it's a little bit of a sense of relief with me, the fact that we got to win. What did you see in Saturday's game that gives you encouragement going into a Saturday? Well, that defense, you know, that's what you see that really encourages you. The fact that those guys, you know, run around and, and, and we've got as much depth as we have in a way where you can, you know, substitute guys pretty freely in there and they get a chance to, to play really hard that way. So, you know, I'm hoping that we can continue to uh, improve that way. And then, you know, our offense shows signs of being able to really run the football now. Uh, we couldn't at times, but we could at times. Uh, we got to just make the times that we can, you know, more available to us. Saturday's game, not only just a classic game, but also, do you also see it as a dress rehearsal because it's your final non-conference mm -hmm. game? Mm -hmm. It's that time of year where you're finishing up your non-conference schedule and you're going into your conference schedule. We'll have Hampton coming back in here in another week or so. And, you know, at that point, you need to have all your stuff in, you know, in line that way. So, you know, I'm hoping that we can play really well against uh, – uh, Benedict this coming Saturday because it'll be a prelude to what we get when we get Hampton here the following week. Do you expect a more confident team, Benedict team coming in compared to the times you played them in the Classics? Oh, I think they'll be a lot more confident. You know, they won two big games. You know, they, be, they beat Central at Central State at Central State, and then they went to New York this past weekend and played them you know, in Giant Stadium and, and, and won that game against Virginia State. So, you know, I've had a chance to see both films. Uh, I think in both cases they really – you know, won the games going away. Uh, they've shown themselves to be a real formidable uh, uh, team that we are going to have to get after this this coming Saturday. What's the one area you think they can provide more difficulties? Well, you know, uh, I think their quarterback is a is a heck of an athlete. He throws around to some really good skilled guys. You know, that whole group of guys in general, you know, give you problems. Uh, I think their, you know, defense is a good, sound uh uh, in space kind of defense, they are a 50 team where they've got a lot of medium-sized guys that are really athletic that can, you know, can run to the ball that way. So they give us some, you know, some headaches on both sides of the ball with their skill style kind of personnel. Do you sort of see this game also as almost like reverse for what y'all went through playing a Clemson? You know, I hadn't really thought about it that way, but it is. And I kind of know how the Clemson people feel when we come to play them. Uh, but at the same time, there's not quite as much space between Clemson and South Carolina State as there is, well, between Benedict and South Carolina State as there is between Clemson and South Carolina State. I think, uh, you know, our resources are closer to being the same. Uh, but at the same time, uh, it is a little bit of a, a worrisome to have to worry about, you know, dealing with a, uh, with a lesser full and the perception of the fact that you ought to have to beat them. Your quarterbacks play. If you take away Tyler's numbers, they really seem as though they are they still trying to find their way, both oh, Richard yeah. and For Wiley? Sure. For sure. We are still trying to find our way with them also. And, you know, Teddy seemed to have played, you know, a little bit better, I thought, toward the game. I liked his energy a little bit better, you know, as the game went, went on than Richard did, uh, than Richard's energy. So, you know, you'll see more of him, but at the same time, I think it's probably going to be a situation where, where we play both of those guys uh, – at a rate where we will eventually see which one kind of separates himself from the pack. You talked about your offensive line getting banged up. Where did things stand health-wise for them? Well, Shaq practiced a little bit this morning. Shaq Harrison, uh, uh, Devin, um, um, uh, Tristan Bellamy, um, uh, Dominique, all those guys seem to be solid. Um, we got to figure out whether or not we can get C.J. Wilson going. Um, uh, Javaris Lehman played there a good bit and, and played good at times, but he's got to, you know, kind of find some assignment issues uh, that, that, you know, that he can kind of find a way to get fixed. But, you know, I think we may be okay there if we can get C.J. back to play maybe even part-time. Um, I think we've got two or three other guys that we're trying to play around in there, a little bit, Avery Grant and some of those guys. But, you know, right now it's one of those kind of situations where, We've got to figure out how to get five of those guys together and get them practicing together for enough time where, you know, we can get them settled in together that way. And at that point, then I think we can begin to take off. This past Saturday, 
Daquan West saw significant action. He was sort of like the other wildcat coming out of Lexington along with Shaq mm -hmm. Rowland. Mm -hmm. Watching him, I guess, in high school, what did you see that sort of could make him someone who can play here? Well, at the time, I was not sure if he was going to be a, a wide receiver, or maybe a, a big skill guy, maybe a tight end even kind of style guy because he uh, – uh, did a lot of that kind of stuff in high school, but he stayed into the wide receiver style kind of mode, and he still got some toughness about him. You know, you think he'd be a guy that could catch some of the inside routes and, and could really block good for you out there, do the kinds of things that fundamentally you got to be good at to be a good player here. So, you know, I think Shaquan is just kind of getting to the point where he's beginning to find himself some. Uh, the best part about it is uh, uh, he's got three more years to play. Do you think, I guess... A lot of people overlooked what he could do having to watch Shaq Rowan playing alongside a guy oh, like Shaq. I guarantee you, but now he's not nearly the speed guy that Shaq was. And, uh, you know, I think he only played at Lexington for like a year or so. He came from Batesburg, Leesville before that. So, you know, it looks like he's getting a chance to continue to develop as a wide receiver. And, you know, as he gets more experience, you know, I think that he'll probably get to the place where, you know, he really takes off that way. Well, this past weekend, um, the MEAC. Got four more non-conference wins, including a couple by A and T and Bethune Cookman. Meanwhile, the SWAC ended up going one and fifteen. Uh, so to ask you about that Saturday, just do you sort of see uh, is that sort of another example of just where it seems like where the conference both conferences stand right now? You know, I don't know. Y'all talk about that kind of stuff more than I do, more than we do as coaches. Uh, we do know that um, we are fortunate that we've got some good teams in our league and our team is going in a good, solid, positive direction. Uh, you know, I want to congratulate a &T, you know, for going out and, and, and winning a game against the CAA foe and, uh, and, and Bethune for winning against a Division I foe, against a bold uh, subdivision kind of team. So, you know, it's obvious that our league is improving. Uh, we've got several teams that have uh, had big wins that way this year. And, um, you know, I'm just hoping that we can hang with them because there's a lot of guys out there seem to be playing well. And they seem to be all coming up on our schedule pretty soon because Central beat up on what's name uh, on Charlotte Saturday too. So, you know, you got a lot of that kind of stuff and they seem to be right around the bit, right around the turn for us. Moving forward, just you look at the conference, do you expect this to be not necessarily a deal where people think it's basically Bethune and everyone else playing catch up? I hope not. Uh, but right now, that looks like it might be what it is. <laughs> if it is that way, you may as well go ahead and say it. Uh, but we get a chance to play Bethune ourselves, and you get a little bit better understanding of exactly where everybody is at that point. Uh, I think we'll just continue to work hard to see what we can do once we get to that point.